these are the things I know. I know someone hurt me. I know I survived. I know I spent my days hiding in Irene's guest bedroom, afraid to leave, afraid of the windows and the doors and what they can't hold back. I know I spent my nights seeing things, women screaming, Irene bleeding. I run through halls, a man falls to the floor. I know that these are not memories. It's all I can do to get through the day, jumping at every sound. But my reward is sleep, where it's all I can do to wake up again. Irene says I'll be okay. That now that I'm safe, I'll remember and can make things right. She calls the police every day and tries to figure things out the old-fashioned way. She says I can stay as long as I need to. I can't imagine leaving. Hi, this is Irene Bailey calling. Uh, again, yes. Yeah, I've uh, never actually used that thing. I'm surprised you actually had one. I know, right? My mom gave it to me. You sleep okay? Yeah. You know, there's a there's no way anyone would guess that you're here. I know. I wish I was better company. All right. I've got these meetings I gotta go to. I've got these new cases. These two women that really seem... Hey. Hey, hey, hey. What are you doing? I wanna help. No, you gotta read. Relax, watch a movie. You're not my secretary, Rebecca. And you really shouldn't be looking at this stuff anyway. I can't just lie around all day and eat your food and, and watch TV. You absolutely can do that. Um... Yeah, hmm. You know what you should do? You should start a new hobby, like taking pictures of naked men or something like that. I think I actually would, if it would give me tenure. Oh, well, in a school of business, I'm not so sure. But you can try. All right. Yep. Please, just give me something to do. <sighs> okay. These, um, these, I guess they need filing, okay? I'll give you three. They're all new cases. Pictures up there suggest go through them. And when you come across the details, write the information down. I'll use it as a quick guide later on. Okay. Okay. But there's going to be car accidents and accidental deaths and suicides and, um, and um, some, some. I don't think you should be looking at this. Oh, come on. It'll be, it'll be like therapy, you know? Face the demons. <laughs> All right. Okay. I'm gonna get going. You have a doctor's appointment at 11.30. Don't forget it, okay? Oh! Irene, I need to know how to make the coffee! Coffee has caffeine. Caffeine is a drug. How are you sleeping? Better? Yes. The meds have worked? Yes. Side effects? None. None? Dry mouth. And? Insomnia. And? Nerves. We'll up the dosage.
That should take care of everything. I don't want meds. As it is, I feel like the crazy lady with prophetic dreams, who thinks she sees the people in them wherever she looks. Cell phone by ringing daily, District Investigator of Lantern Insurance International. Please leave your name, your case name, and number, and don't forget to include your phone number. I'll get back to you soon. Thanks. Irene, it's 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 me. I don't know. I don't know. I think I I know one of your case subjects. That was weird. I, I'm just I'm gonna go to the hospital. I'm just I'm I'm gonna see. Okay, call me. Hi, can I help you? My name is uh, Irene Bailey. I need to see the uh, files on Alex Chandler. Uh, we sent those over a couple days ago. I, I didn't receive anything. There was a note about someone else handling it, I think. A misunderstanding, I'm sure. I, I, was, I was in an accident recently, so... I was, I was wondering. Um, I'm sorry. I hope you're doing better. Thank you. It was probably just a in-office administrator doing some, you know, backup when they wanted when I'd be back to work. Oh, honey, red tape is one thing I do know. Give me a second, I'll find that chart. <sighs> Here we go. His current chart would be in his room. Thank you. Oh, actually, I keep that. I can make you copies. Thanks. All right, just so zoned out lately. There's so many cutbacks at work and so many cases. And How's he doing? Same. His wife comes in to visit him every day. Practically kid herself. Maybe that's why she thinks it's okay to a, bring his five-year-old son, and B, her friend. Really? I can't believe he hasn't sat straight up out of that bed in sheer outrage, because I know that I would. You think that she's... We had a woman wake up out of a coma 17 years. She was screaming. 
Her husband had tried to push her over the railing. That was the last thing she remembered. No, I mean, I really don't have any proof. I'm just talking, so I would hate for an innocent woman to miss out on the income that she needs to provide for her family because of my wild imagination. Of course. We would never deny her unless we had real proof. Well, you never know with these insurance companies. Thank you. the doctor's work. She's not a doctor. Uh, hi, I'm Irene Bailey from Latin Insurance International. Can I help you? I'm just looking into to Mr. Chandler's condition. He's no better. Oh. This is my friend, Robbie. No, I've known him since childhood. I'll leave you too long. Excuse me. Is this normal? You coming to visit him like this? There's nothing special about them. There's actually a very specific stipulation here about PTSD. Still, so this is what I know if I can afford my kids to I don't know anything more than you do right now. What are you going to tell them? I have to go. Well, what are you going to Please, don't grab me like that.
Oh, my God. Were you just going to shoot me? You could have shot me. I just, um, all, all your stuff was gone. Rebecca, you could have hurt someone. You could have killed me. I'm sorry. Really, uh, I'm so sorry. And what if I had been the exterminator? He comes every other month, you know? I would, uh, I would never shoot the exterminator. Your exterminator has a, a key to your place? Not the point. I didn't hear you coming in. Yeah, well, I wasn't exactly trying to be quiet. I mean, I mean, I didn't even think you were home. I didn't see any of the lights on. Where, where are all your files? Um, they're at the main office. Are you all right? Yeah, you just you start on me, that's all. Okay. Come on, you need to get out of the house. No, I don't. Yes, you do. Let's go for a walk. It's dark. Yeah, it is dark. But do you know how many people get shot in broad daylight in this town? That's your selling point. Therapy. Do you got a permit for that? to go um, see one of your cases today, and I, oh, I just think it's got me all paranoid. Well, yeah, I mean, that's, that's probably why you're a little bit jumpy. What do you mean you went to see one of my cases? The, um, the coma guy. Oh. Oh, yeah. Right. For a second, I was, I was um, picturing you in a morgue or in <laughs> a construction site or something. You said you know him, right? Maybe. If I do, I just, uh, I can't remember from where. It's, it's weird. Look at him. He's got a wife and kids and a high-profile job. You know? Maybe somebody came along and ruined everything and he just... No. No. Okay, a coma is hardly any kind of escape. No. Maybe it was a horrible mistake. What about you? Did you, uh, did you find anything out today? Or? No, not much. The detective thinks it's a bit of a stretch, and, uh... I mean, I guess I understand why. It's, it's only three bodies over a period of two years, and... Four, four bodies. You are not a body. Come on. You're gonna be fine. I don't feel fine. So what, they're just, they're not gonna do anything? Apparently being raped, beaten, and murdered isn't as unusual as you'd think. Or at least not in this town. I mean, there's a possibility that they're not connected at all. If they are connected, then that means whoever attacked me is out there, right? And they know that I that I got away, right? And if it's not the same attackers, then... Then there are just that many evil people in the world. Great. <laughs> what the fuck are we doing out here? Becky, wait. Come on.
patients in these circumstances have particular needs, crossing between medical treatment and caregiving needs, and addressing the ethic, okay. <laughs> Before we go on, does anybody have any questions or, are you sure? Okay. Do you want to talk about it? No. Well, if you talk about it, then the nightmare won't come back. You made that up. No, I didn't. I don't want to talk about it. Okay. Did you have an appointment with Dr. S today? That has nothing to do with it. I was just thinking that maybe she'd want to put you on some medication. I told you no, she doesn't think so. But you asked her again, right? I'm gonna go to bed, I'm tired. I'm but I was just asking. I mean, what about the tea? I don't want tea. It's just gonna be a minute. I told you, I don't want any. But I already took them out of their little airtight packets and Hey, Becky, there's a hard drive in my bag by the desk. It's got a backup of Alex Chandler's computer. Everything, financial records, emails, browsing history. Copied and compiled by Lanton experts. I'm running kind of late right now. Hey, I'm not doing anything legal by looking at that stuff, am I? Um, yep, definitely. Absolutely illegal.
This guy did everything online. Huh. Get, get this, he, he trusted his work computer with his, his social security number and his, his passwords, but no good porn. Lame. Was this guy religious or anything? Because he, he seemed to have a, a thing for, for the supernatural. Out of body experiences, even. Irene, can you hear me? Hey, the coffee is cold. I told you your coffee pot was broken. Irene, did you hear me? This guy was looking into ways to leave the body and do other things called astral projection. Just because he had stupid, crazy reasons doesn't mean that he didn't do it on purpose. Did you leave? There's only so far you can go with some injuries. Really, often it's all about putting off the inevitable. Death. Decline. Aging can steepen the decline in the injured. In strength, endurance, flexibility, and thus mobility, activity, uh, independence, arthritis that would otherwise be a mild discomfort can become serious complication. Was, was Mr. Chandler declining? No. Uh, he had some pain, but if anything, he was improving, and there was nothing he hadn't endured in the past. I've heard some nothing about pain medication. Well, to my knowledge, he didn't take any. How realistic. Do you offer any alternative therapies? If by alternative you mean illegal, no. If by alternative you mean homeopathic, of course. Like herbs? Yeah. Acupuncture? Sure. Meditation? Certainly. Astro projection? No, not, not so much, no. At no point did Alex Chandler practice the art of projecting a soul out of his body into another place or reality? We do not offer that in our spa package, no. Well, he had to get the idea somewhere, so. Well, it wasn't from us. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a consultation, but uh, just take your time. stirs. He doesn't. I wonder if it's, if it's like sleeping. Well, some of the ones who have been under for years say that it's like they've just fallen asleep a few minutes ago. Others claim to have this whole ongoing existence. I would imagine the ones that never wake up probably have a completely different experience. Whatever that is. How long have I been here? All morning. You just can't seem to tear yourself away from here, can you? Don't get attached. You should really leave your work at the office. No, it's just that I am. Um, I lose track of time. Forget what I've been doing or how I got here. You know? 
That's not unusual. You're kidding me. No, I mean, in a trauma victim, it's completely normal. I don't want to be a victim. You know, it probably doesn't make your job any easier for getting like that all the time. Can you imagine if I tried to teach during all this? You teach too? I, yeah, just, um, sometimes at night. Anxiety? Also gone. You complained about your memory last time. I did? Yes. Is it better? Yes. Much better. Well, have you gone home yet? No. Any reason? I'm just, weren't... I'm not ready to be by myself in there yet. I see. I'm doing fine. Well, you look nice. Thank you. Should we talk about my mother? We could talk about the assault. I'd rather talk about my mother. You're scaring me. Why'd you lock me out? What are you doing out there? I forgot to take out the trash. They come at like 5 a.m. Why? 
I fired it there. Miss Bally. You, uh, you don't have to call me that. Miss Bally, I'm not sure what else you think I can help you with. I understand you're concerned about your family's future. Whatever the reason for his condition, there's nothing fraudulent about my husband's coma. After Iraq, he was different. I'm not saying that he was. A company sent him there. He was one of their best people. He did work re-establishing connectivity in Baghdad or something. What exactly was his job? He was an engineer, vice president of operations. And, and how was he different? I mean, if he had been different. He couldn't walk. Uh. Two of his soldiers were killed. A few of his co-workers were kidnapped. One of them was found dead a few weeks later. Any other one? They never found him. He and Alex were friends from college. He, he became depressed? At first, but it passed. I wanted him home. The company had rewritten those benefits they're so worried about now. He could have retired on them then. But he insisted on going back to work, and that was that. I've um, uncovered some websites, materials that <sighs> indicate your husband was interested in leaving the body behind. If you deny his benefits on those grounds, I'm going to have to sue. If we deny you for any reason, you should probably sue. Can people really do that? Leave their bodies behind? No. Of course not. Alex was a smart man who would never have bought into such nonsense. Chase and I have made some peanut butter cookies. Would you like one? That sounds so good, but um, I should probably go. You parked out front? I'm not sure. What's wrong with you? How, how, how did I get here? Um, you walked. We walked. Come on, let's go. I, I, I was researching the case and... I know. Are you taking your medication like you're supposed to? You're scared. You really do spend an awful lot of time here waiting on him to wake up. Do you think he wants to? Well, it's not your money. I know. Did, did he have um, a little trouble walking? His braces over here. You could have just retired. Hey, you. Um, I thought you were picking me up. I 
Isn't it past your bedtime? Do you know my daddy? No. My daddy was a soldier. No, I wasn't, son. Ask him how he rebuilt whole cities. I went for the money. He helped people. No, I didn't. I didn't help anyone. My daddy was a soldier. No, I wasn't. My daddy was a soldier. No, I wasn't. I didn't, I didn't help anyone. Are you doing this to me? I know you can hear me! Leave me alone! I, I, I know you can hear me! What are you doing? Leave me alone! Leave me alone! I might be uh, having some problems adjusting. Well, this is to be expected. I'm forgetting things. Blacking out, really. But maybe it's time to talk about what happened. Let some of that building pressure out. Why would someone pick me? You didn't do anything wrong. It's not your fault, it's their fault. Don't blame yourself. Not about blame, it's just about figuring out what to do next time, you know? Anxiety, fear, these are normal reactions. Normal feelings after what you've been through. Maybe you're pushing things too much. Maybe you should go easy on yourself. Maybe you should stop doing what you're doing altogether. Stop altogether. Give yourself time to heal. You don't want to traumatize yourself further by doing something you shouldn't. Do you understand? I understand. You're not drinking your tea. Hi, this is Irene Bailey calling. Again, yes, yes. Um, no, 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 no. I'm not, I'm not saying that it's a worker's comp case. She wasn't shot on the job. I'm saying that the two are connected. That the murderers may be the same killer. Okay, I, I know it's not our job, but if we have a reason to call the police, look, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm gonna have to call you back. Hey, Becky. Uh, how's it coming? Do you want some help? It's coming along fine.
leave my family alone. Look, Irene asked me to help her figure out what happened to you. It's my duty. You can't scare me off. Since when am I the enemy? Since you've been stalking me in my own home. And how are you so sure I'm stalking you? Who's imagining who here? It, it's not about... Answer the fucking question. Who's imagining who here? I'm not crazy. Wake up, Rebecca. I only want to help you. I don't need your help. I don't want you to get killed in your sleep. So, are you ready to talk about the assault? <sighs> I don't think I was supposed to survive. You think that God intended for you to die? I think my, my attackers intended for me to die. Maybe it wasn't that planned out. All their other victims are dead. I survived. They're probably looking for me. What if they aren't? What if it's just your anxiety, your natural anxiety rearing its head, protecting you or pretending to protect you by making you afraid? By scaring me off. Exactly. What if it is safe to go home and you're just too scared to do it? It could all be in my head, all, all the dreams and the, the threats. Maybe. So, are you ready to talk about the assault? Yes. How many were there? Two. What did they look like? I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to, to describe them, but I, I, mean, I, I would recognize them. That leaves a pretty wide margin of error, Rebecca. I'm not, I'm not making a mistake. There are many possibilities. Now let's return to the problem of your memory. My memory's fine. It's the nightmares that are the problem now. I see. So. Are you ready to talk about the assault?
I mean, I, I don't hope you broke down. I mean, I'm just hey. calm. I just know what's up. You must be so mad at me for making you drink out of the toilet Becca, all week. Becca, hey, we're getting worried here. Uh, sending out the troops. So if that's unnecessary, give us a call. Don't be mad. We're just concerned. Didn't you see? But if I can see you, uh, uh, I'm safe, right? Nothing else around me is real. Not at all. Stop being so damn vain. You're the worst dream guy ever. No, you're not automatically safe. No, this isn't automatically real. I don't make up the rules, you know. Can, can, they, can they see us? No. Not fully here. Can we be? Stop for a while now. It's too much. Rebecca. What about your friend? What's wrong with you? But what are you talking about? Come on, let's go home. Come on. I'm so tired all of a sudden. So today I found this guy who had been collecting workers' hop for almost eight months, cleaning gutters on his roof. Unbelievable, right? Depends on what his plan was. Wounded knee that he can't support himself or strain it in any way. I think he showed up to the last court hearing with some big brace or something. Nice. Yeah, my job is so predictable sometimes. We, uh, we should probably go. Have you been taking your medication, huh? I wasn't, I wasn't taking any medication. I'm starting to scan out.
Yellow, Detective Thoreau. Yes, yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm calling about Irene Bailey. How can I help you, ma'am? Well, she's, um, she's missing, and she was, she was talking to you guys about these, um, murdered women who had been, uh, shot and, uh, tortured. Do you, do you know what I'm talking about? Oh, which, which cases? Hold on. Uh, Vera Little. Amanda Bell Christian, Bijan Billings, and, uh, uh, Sarah Johnson. I don't know those names. I don't think those are our cases. And what did you say your name was? Uh, my name is Rebecca. Rebecca... Really? Does that matter right now? Why so cagey? Unless you're on a payphone. We'll just look it up anyway. So how did you come to know about these four victims you mentioned? Um, Irene told me about them. She's an investigator for fraud, that, that sort of thing, and... That, that two of the women were killed in a, in a similar fashion, and uh, the other two, uh, I don't know. And now Irene is missing? Yes, yes, and I, I, I'm pretty sure by the, the two people that killed those women. How do you know it was more than one person? Because I was there. So, you saw your friend get abducted? She's been missing for days, and you just now call us? Do you want to come in and talk to us, Rebecca? Are you listening to me? Because I, Irene is missing. You want to fill out a missing persons report? Yes! Yes! I would like to file a report! Well, okay. Give me her full name. Irene Bailey! Jesus. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I just, look, she was in contact with you about these women. You, you, you have to know who she is. You have to. Being in contact with one of my guys about these cases and me not knowing about it is pretty slim. But I'll ask. I have to go. What about the missing persons report? Missing persons is real important. What's happening to me? I mean, you don't just forget something like that. I mean, you don't just look at this face every day and not think about what happened to you. You don't just let days or a week go by when someone you care about is missing. You don't just create a whole person into existence so that you feel safe.
You have to help me find her. It's not possible. But they're gonna kill her. They'll kill you. They can't. Actually, they can. To be able to help, you have to be all the way through. To affect change in any real way, you have to really be there. To be touched, to be hurt, to be killed. Okay, I'll do it. I won't. But she's gonna. You can't save Irene. After what happened last time, what makes you think you'll be any good against them? Look, I've enjoyed helping you wake up, but that's not what I'm in it for. I'm trying to keep my way home. Besides, you're the one who thinks I'm so despicable for leaving my family behind. So what do you want me to do? Shoot them? If either of them got away, I have a defenseless body lying in a hospital bed. But the nurses don't pay enough attention to, to brush my teeth every day. Is this isn't a joke. No. It's not. I can't. You don't have to go after them. They're gonna come after me. I'm sorry. Are you thinking crazy? I saw someone here the other day. She's here. Just go look that way. Está loco. Pinche puta.
cariño. Buscando esto. I'm so tired all of a sudden. Wait. It's not what you think. It's not me now. It's not any of us. Step back, we got this. Please. Somebody help me! Over here. Come on. Come on. These are the things I know. I know someone hurt me. I know I survived. I know I spent my days hiding in Irene's guest bedroom. Afraid to leave. Afraid of the windows and the doors and what they can't hold back. I know I spend my nights seeing things. 
women screaming, Irene bleeding. I run through halls, a man falls to the floor. I know that these are not memories. Honey, you gotta wake up. Sleepy girl.